Thank you for being here with us again in the beautiful Brother Billy Bob building in Brentwood. Once again, the Lord has laid a message for you on my heart. But before I lay it on you, I have a couple of announcements. Whoever is driving the blue Thunderbird with a bumper sticker that says, ask me about my pictures of Chelsea in the parking lot, <laughs> you was in Brother Billy Bob's spot. <laughs> Also, the young ladies' prayer meeting scheduled for Friday night has been canceled. I'm sorry about that. I, for one, I will miss the laying on of the hand ceremony. <laughs> My last announcement tonight is this. With dearly beloved, my flock, last week Brother Billy Bob decided to resign from the ministry. Whoa! Woe unto thee, O Arkansas! For it shall be in the last days that evil shall abound in thy land. The devil shall stalk thy earthly abodes. Home box office shall scramble thy satellites. No, 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 no. Oh, yes, dearly beloved, I have fought the devil, devil all my life. But what good has it did? <laughs> Look around you, dearly beloved. What do you see? You see sin in every hideous form. Oh, no. Where? You see drinking. Oh. Gambling. Oh. God fornicating. Oh. Lewd oh. behavior. And let me tell y'all something, dearly beloved. Things is about to get pretty bad outside the church. Take us there, brother. I didn't mind. I could take it. I didn't mind as long as I felt like the Lord was looking out for the state of Arkansas. But that all changed, dearly beloved, last week when I seen God's own team Drop the ball. Hog ball, hog ball. Yes, you know what I'm talking about. Last Friday night, right here in the beautiful Brother Billy Bob building in Brentwood, God's home court, Brother Billy Bob himself was eliminated in the first round of the postseason invitational Backwoods Bible Banger Preach-Offs. Blasphemy. <laughs> Can you believe it, dearly beloved? Brother Billy Bob ain't going to the finals in Las Vegas this year. No! 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 deliver us! Now, I ain't here to make excuses. I got some bad calls. I thought that was obvious. Amen. And I heard somebody say that the referees might have been atheist, communist, homosexuals. Amen. 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 But I wouldn't know about that. No, dearly beloved. Brother Billy Bob ain't the kind to point the finger of blame. Mm. Mm. Especially not at our dear deacons. Mm. <laughs> Them fine, upstanding examples of sanctified leadership who, I might point out, was recruited by my predecessor, Brother Eddie Bob. <laughs> now, dearly beloved, I don't mean to suggest that our fine deacons didn't do their part last Friday night, that they let me down in any way, that they totally blew it for me, or that they can expect to roast like barbecued worms in the lake of fire for all eternity. <laughs> no, I ain't got no excuses, because that ain't my way. Oh, but hasn't the enemies of the Lord been quick to criticize Brother Billy Bob? Oh, yeah. Hallelujah. I reckon you read the letters in the Brentwood Gazette. Mm. <laughs> I reckon you heard about the petition. 
They say Brother Brother Bob ain't gonna done a good job with this flock. They say, me. They say it's Brother Billy Bob's fault that we ain't got a nationally ranked congregation. No. <laughs> they say Brother Billy Bob has got a lack of conviction. No, 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 no. Let me ask you, brothers and sisters, what other preacher, Mark, if preacher in the state of Arkansas can say he's had 32 indictments without one conviction? Yeah. Yeah. Brother Billy Bob ain't made of stone. <laughs> Y'all know me, especially the ladies of the church. <laughs> Y'all know what a feeling person I am. <laughs> These criticisms wounded me deeply. I begun to believe that I had lost my calling. Oh, no. no. And I decided to resign. Oh, no. oh, I forgot! Oh, oh, no, 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 and I know that the Lord called me to fling myself into one last frenzied night of missionary work among the heathen hussies down at the huddle club. Amen. Yes, dearly beloved, Brother Billy Bob crossed the threshold of that den of iniquity, armed with nothing more than my iron will and a lifetime membership. <laughs> There I ministered unto Miss Bambi Galore, a cocktail waitress of my acquaintance. Amen. God bless you, Bambi. <laughs> Miss Bambi has been converted more often than Uncle Ben's rice. And dearly beloved, ain't it wonderful? The, the was with me that night. I showed Miss Bambi the light three times before my batteries give out. <laughs> and it was then that I remembered the words of the Lord unto Nahum the Vegemite. In the book of Adverbs. Chapter 3, verse 12. And the Lord spake unto Nahum the Vegemite and said, Nahum, ignore them jerks. <laughs> I'm a new man, dear beloved. You see before thee a new man. Hallelujah. Amen. Because I changed my attitude. You got to remember that I have come this close to winning my last 4,014 battles with temptation. Go <laughs> for it! <laughs> Look at all I have did for this flock. Wasn't it me that took the whole church treasury up to Missouri and bought lottery tickets to save y'all from sin? <laughs> hey, what? What? We'll discuss that. <laughs> Wasn't it Brother Billy Bob that baptized nearly a hundred college girls during the Brother Billy Bob annual tent meeting and wet t-shirt revival? <laughs> and you can't say Brother Billy Bob ain't been good for Arkansas. Brothers and sisters, when I come to this state, Arkansas ranks 49th in the nation in preacher salaries. <laughs> put us in third place. Hey! Hey! I ain't going to retire, dearly beloved. I ain't going to leave you lost and alone, not while there's a breath in my body or a nickel in your pockets. 